I'd like to give you a quick tour on how to use Canva, which is actually not related to Canvas. It's a different tool that allows you to create a course image. So here's an example of a course image that's embedded inside of your course homepage. And what I want to show you is how to use Canva to create this image. And it's really a simple process. And all you have to do is go to canva.com. And as you can see, it's just Canvas without an S. So once you're in canva.com and you've created an account, and what you can do in order to create the account is just log in with your Facebook account, or you can create a new account. But once you've logged in, this is what you're going to see, the homepage with some of your the stuff you've already created here at the bottom. And then at the top here, you can choose from a, a preset. And most of these are going to be related to social media or posters, Facebook covers, blog graphics, Twitter headers, and so forth. And now the canvas space is not as wide as some of these other preset designs. So I'm going to create a custom dimensions here. So what you want to do is click on use custom dimensions. And then from here, what you want to do is do something like 600 by 300 or 600 by 250. You really don't want to go past 800 because then it won't scale very well. It won't look good on people with small monitors. So uh, I'll go ahead and put in 600 by 250. And then as you can see, the default here is PX, which means pixels. And that's great. Uh, the other options are for more for if you're into print, making a print design, inches or millimeters. Uh, so then go ahead and click on design. And that creates a new window. And as you can see, this is 600 by 250. And then on the left here, you see your layouts. And that's more if you want to do cards and you know other types of brochure type designs. But for our purposes, we just want a banner, so a simple background and some text on it. So I'll go ahead and click on background. And what you get here is a bunch of free backgrounds that you could use if you want to. They're really plain. And then you have some really nicer backgrounds, but they cost some money. You know, you have to pay a dollar for these stock photos. So once you, once you use an image like this and you want to download it, it's going to charge you a dollar best way to personalize your course image would be to use one of your own photos. Maybe you took a vacation and you took some nice pictures. And so all you have to do is upload those photos. So I already have a couple images here and I'll go ahead and look for one of my own photos. I pulled an image here. It's just a uh, camping trip and I'm going to just drag that image right on top of the web page and it uploaded the image and I could have also used the upload your own image button and then that allows you to go into your hard drive and find the image somewhere on your hard drive or your uh, external drive. So now you have an image and all you have to do is click on it and it immediately pops it into your canvas or on top of your canvas and now you can click and drag these handles these corner handles to maximize or make the image fit into your screen. And in this case, that's a personal part, so you know I could move that out until it fits nicely. And I have something here. Now this isn't very nice, so I don't like this uh, this for a coarse image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the trash can and try a different image. This seems a little bit more interesting for a coarse image. So now I've dragged these corners, and it looks pretty nice. Now if you want to add, change the contrast, basically make it a little bit, spice it up a bit then you can click on the filter button and from here you can use some presets that instantly change the uh, atmosphere of the picture. Uh, you can even make a grayscale which is just a uh, image that's been desaturated. If you don't like that you can click on normal and make the adjustments yourself. And I always like to bump the contrast up a little bit in, in a lot of cases that works well with my images. And then you have some advanced options here, like I mentioned here, saturation. And you can add some other options here if you want to play with that. When you're happy with that, you can now start working with the text here. And the simplest way to add text is to click on the Add Text bar here. And now you can add your, your title. You can also use some of the presets here. You know, like if you really like the way this looks, 
then just use that and then modify that. I clicked on that, which is free. And then what I want to do is just change the text to match my course title. All you have to do now is double click on it and now change the either the font here, you can change the font, you can change the size, the color, and you can change the alignment and whether it's uppercase or lowercase. So center, left, right. So I'll go ahead and click center. Now I want to double click on it and change it to my course title. So if my course subject is Philosophy 101, I type that in. I don't need that anymore at this point. I don't need that part. And I don't like the color, so I'll change that to, let's try green. If you don't like any of the presets, then you can click on the plus sign here and actually customize the color. Tweak it until you like it. And I like how this looks, so I'm going to go ahead and stretch it a little bit more. Make it fit nicely into the window. Move it down a little bit. And this looks fine with me, so I'm ready to download that and upload it into my Canvas course. The way to do that is you, you look at the top here where it says download or link and click that. And then what you want to do for your Canvas course is you want to publish that image, then re-upload it into Canvas. So I'm going to get, go ahead and click on image. And now it's preparing the image. And now you should see the image has downloaded to your download folder. And that may depend on what operating system and what browser you use, but it should be in your download folder. So now I'm going to switch to Canvas. And as you can see here, I'll delete this example here. And to do that is you go to your home course homepage with your instructor role. And there should be an edit button here in the top right corner. I'll go ahead and delete this image here. The next thing you want to do is click on images and then upload a new image. Then you choose a file. And here's the image that I just created in my download folder. I click on that and click on upload. And there it is. And then you can, if you don't see it, you can click on it, and otherwise it would have already uploaded directly into your course. And now you have a nice looking course image using a free online image editing solution.